Now, if you spend your working life in a suit and tie, it's likely you'll be used to this setup. It's called teleconferencing, and using an audio and video circuit, it allows you to attend an important meeting in, say, New York, while never moving from your desk in, say, Manchester. Telepresence works on the same principle, that of electronically giving you a presence somewhere else. It's just that it takes that principle a little bit further. Well, quite a lot further, actually. Here at Salford University's Centre for Robotics and Automation, they're working on something of a prototype Freddy Flintoff. Imagine I'm Freddy, here in England, wearing a telepresent glove. While my other self, the telepresent robotic Freddy, is over in Sydney, facing the Aussies. It's a crucial point in the series. England have got to get this catch to win the match. Yes! And they're now working on sensors that'll be built into the telepresent glove, so you'll be able to touch, smell and feel things happening thousands of miles away. The sensation is really extraordinary. I don't know if you're getting a sense of it. That movement there, that's my finger moving down on this object. Now, obviously, this object isn't really in front of me. It's on the screen. But I can feel it. As I move my fingers around, I can feel that texture. It's extraordinary. I'll just show you, actually, what's happening inside, if I can just open it. Can you bring the camera in there? Those tiny little pins there, they're feeding back to my finger the shape of that virtual object. In fact, if you look on my finger, you can see, look, the indentation that they've caused. The possibilities for the military, for medicine, even video games are mind-boggling. This is the Pebbles robot, and according to its makers, Telbotics, it's the world's first fully functioning telepresence application. It allows sick children in hospital to still attend school classes. They're linked to the classroom via two-way video and audio links, and the robot is kitted out with a scanner and printer so that essays can be handed in and homework set. Pebbles even means the student using it can put their hand up in class. And telepresence technology has been used in medicine for a while now. The first major transatlantic surgery was a telerobotic gallbladder operation performed by surgeons in New York on a patient in France four years ago. In the States, they've developed a telepresence armed response unit called TRAP-2. This allows police officers to intervene in dangerous situations and return fire if required without even having to be in the same county as the bad guys.